the Heat and the Pacers are both sounding off. So let's just take a listen. Okay, you're in the Final Four. You're competing for a championship. You're competing for a championship. And they're just the next team that's in our way. And that's how we're approaching it. I don't understand what he's saying, but uh, we're not just another team. What are you? Not true. Okay. Well, you're not just another team. What are you? Yeah, we're just another team in our way. We're not just another team. We're a great team. And we're very confident. And, uh, you know, we'll be ready for them. But if we're just another team, you don't prepare. You really don't prepare for just another team. We're not just another team. You have to prepare for us. You take that a little personal? Absolutely. I'll be ready. Well, Frank Vogel responded by saying, quote, sorry, sports world. The words just another team never came out of my mouth. Great respect for LBJ and the champs. Looking forward to, quote, a great series. I think it's semantics. But anyway, uh, how surprised were you by LeBron's reaction to Vogel? I'll start with you first, Austin. Uh, I really don't think anybody's in the wrong here, to be completely honest. Uh, Frank Vogel should have said that because uh, they shouldn't be in awe of the Heat. They went 2-1 and one versus them during the season. Uh, they challenged them last year in the playoffs, and they have a good makeup to, to challenge the Heat. So going into the series, the, it, it is another team that is in the way of them getting to the championship. Um, and I think LeBron is absolutely right. They are not just a normal team. They are a great team. He is the best player in basketball. He has Dwayne Wade. He has Chris Bosh, who's been playing unbelievable. They have a great team. Um, so I really, I think, you know, people are trying to make something. Um, but I... I, I well, Vogel said they're just the next team in our way, and then I guess LeBron thought they said they're just another team. So, again, it's still semantics in terms of who they're playing next. Stephen A., your response? Are you well, first of all, first of all, I mean, listen. Uh, first of all, Frank Vogel is absolutely right. I, I hadn't heard the quote specifically, but he's right. He did not say they're just another team. He said they're the next team. Uh, you could play semantics with that and all of that other stuff. And, and LeBron James is right to sit there and say, excuse me, whether it's, you know, even though he thought they said we're just another team, even if they're saying they're just the next team in our way, it does sound a bit dismissive of the world champions. Now, my point is, I like it either way. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm you're Frank Vogel. I mean, that's what you're supposed to think like. That's what you're supposed to say. We are coming. You understand, LeBron James, we are coming. D-Wade, we're coming. Chris Bosh, we're coming. We have respect for ourselves. We believe in ourselves. We have confidence in ourselves. Be ready to deal with us because we intend to be ready to deal with y'all. Let's get it on. I'm tired of all of this choir boy stuff. And I blame the NBA to some degree, too. I'm mad that they take out some of the smack, the, the smack talking. Uh, don't get me wrong. You don't want fisticuffs. You don't want people having kind of physical confrontations or anything, shoving or anything like that. But I don't think there's anything wrong with somebody talking smack this is what basketball is all about when you go from the playgrounds to ball in the high school level college etc etc what were you doing you were sitting out there being quiet you were balling and you were talking that comes with the game I love this kind of stuff because it gets me more hyped about the matchup I love the fact that LeBron is like I'll be ready we're coming. Mm -hmm. And I know how D. Wade is. I don't have to hear about from, from, from D. Wade. I know exactly how he thinks. You know what I'm saying? And no matter how demure uh, Chris Bosh may appear to be from time to time, I know how he thinks. Udonis Haslam and all of those boys. I know they're going to be ready. I also know that the greatest ever in most of our eyes is Michael Jordan. And Michael don't, Jordan, don't do this. Don't, let me finish. Don't do this. Let me finish. No, no, no. It has nothing <laughs> don't to do. Don't do it. it has no, there's no comparison. Thank I'm you. I'm saying Matt, Michael Jordan used to, he used to create controversy. Take the littlest thing, the most innocuous comment. Oh, he's offended. He's insulted, whatever. Why? Because you're looking for an excuse to hype yourself. You're looking for an excuse to hype yourself. Everybody don't have Doc Rivers as their coach. They need another form of inspiration and motivation. You know what I'm saying? Coach like your dad is somebody that can sit there. I consider him to be the ultimate motivator when you listen to him talk to his players on the court or during a game. Some other teams don't have that. You're looking for reasons to be incentivized. Now, I like it. You're not trying to put LeBron in no, the Michael. Thing. I'm not trying to do anything like I'm that. I'm trying to protect any, with anybody, my friend LeBron with here. Because he with doesn't any, deserve with that. With anybody. I'm simply okay. saying I love the fact that guys get sensitive to every little thing this time of year because you need the extra motivation. motivation. Got to hate your opponent sometimes. It's all right.